Let's talk about finger exercises. What we're gonna do here is we're trying to get your fingers to work independently of each other, right? So a very simple exercise that we can do sounds like this. One, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. Right, you could do that. Now notice, I'm stretching across four frets at the end there, and I'm leaving them all down. That's important because you really want the sensation of just one finger moving every time, right? Then you can move up one fret and do the same thing. Right, you can just keep moving up the whole guitar neck. Now you're not trying to go fast, you're just trying to make everything work together. That doesn't happen with speed, right? That happens with careful planning, right? Every time, right? Now, once you reach a certain spot on the guitar, it's up to you. I like the 12th fret. We can try and go backwards now, right? So why don't we do the whole thing backwards, which is four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four. And same thing, we're gonna move down one fret and do the same thing. Four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four. Nice and even, right? Doesn't matter how slow you do it. And then all the way down, right? Now, another uh, thing you can do here is we can try and alternate pick. Now, this is not an easy thing. This would be the second level. After you've already mastered that exercise with all down picks, the next thing you might wanna try is alternate picking. Remember, that's down, up, down, up, or up, down, however you want to think about it, but it's alternating the direction, right? And so now you're adding a whole new level of what you're doing here. Right, now, that might take a while to put together, so don't, don't get frustrated. It took me a long time to be able to do that. And of course, we could do it backwards, same concept. We're going backwards and alternate picking. and you work your way all the way back down. And that's a great exercise, not only on the first string, you could do it on the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. You could do it while watching TV, reading the computer. It's a great exercise to gain finger independence.